Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I need to inventory that cabinet of all those DVDs and of course I will use Zoom Notes to do it. Okay, so I came to my brother's house that last week because he had to put his wife in the hospital for memory problems and um, so all of these DVDs are hers and he has no clue what all is in there and last night he decided he wanted to watch uh one flew over the cuckoo's nest and he says i bet it's in there but i don't know that so it's like we opened it up and saw all these movies and it's like oh oh so i decided today i would look for that one but i would also try to inventory everything so that we can put it into zoom notes so we'll have a the ability to, to um to uh, search for it, sorry, use the search. And I know, because I've used before, there's, there's some apps that you can just scan the barcode and it'll give you much more information about the movie. But my brother does not need that information and all we really need is the ability to find a movie. Do we have it? Yes, it's in the cabinet, okay? So, my first thought was I'm going to use Zoom Notes to do it. I bet I can, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to take a chance and see if I can do it that way. So I want to show you. While he's gone, I thought I would hurry up and do a video so that uh, to show you guys what it did. I'm just so blown away by the fact that it was able to read all these different fonts. I took a picture of one stack and... This is the stack that I took. Look at all the different fonts, guys. And and look how bad they are to read. Some of them are hard to read. But it did it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Now, it didn't it didn't do it 100%. You know, it 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 missed some things because some things like special edition, if you look at little mermaid, special edition, that's clear enough that it was able to read it. But all the stuff over on the left side on the end. Now, it got Miss Congeniality 2 over on the left side. But, it, it, you know, it didn't pick up the DVD business and some of the, some of the tinier stuff, which I don't want anyway because that's usually the person that played in it. So, let me just show you. If I take, take the Im select the image and using the selection menu go down to images or image and click on recognize text and give it a second see it's it found some text and it put it on the clipboard so i'm going to double tap over on the right side just to get the see it just gave it to me there you go p.s i love you is the very first one on the top now nicholas cage i know was you know that's just an actor in the weatherman so i have to get rid of that all i have to do was see when i changed it to text it went to the bottom so i'll go ahead and do this Th this mess down here none of that's any good so i just delete it um and iceman is the the last movie now i'm not real sure what nah is i think that i want to look where is it where is it where is it See, that's under Yankees. Ugh. I do know this. Whenever I, whenever I, oh, see, it didn't get Yankees. It got NAH for it. But I can certainly understand it because see how it wrapped. I'm not really sure why it does that. I'm trying to zoom in. Let me unselect and try to zoom in on that. See how Yankees is? All it got was NAH for that. So I need to fix that. But that, like I said, it's a whole lot easier to do a few little fixes. Ah, uh, okay tap off. 
go down here. See, I don't even know what 61 is, and it has an asterisk, and it got it. So, if I just... Yankees. I, I was sitting here trying to remember what the heck was there. I couldn't remember. Okay, then next. Then I know that these two people, I guess, are actors in some, one of them. So I just get rid of that. Billy Crystal was probably, I don't know which movie he was in. Not important. Don't need it. Delete it. Schindler's List off the map. Oh. So, oh, seeing Miss Congeniality. This time, it didn't. It didn't get the miss, but and it didn't spell congeniality right either. But it did it the first time, so I'm not real certain why it didn't get it that time. But anyway, so once I clean that list up which is no big deal, honestly. Let me, I'm going to delete that because I'm, I'm tired of fighting it. Delete that. So then I just left justified all the titles. And I don't believe, I may be wrong, but I don't think there's a way to put text in a table like this. You know, this is just a big chunk of text, and I'm not real sure. I feel like there might be, but I... I can't think of it right now, and so I'm going to say you can't. So all I did was build a table to fit this li list. You know, I just built a table. And then I took, I made it so that the um, the table fit. I adjusted the left column so that it was just so wide. So let me just show you. I took that. That's the table. Hope you can see it. And then I go to here and go to uh, Table Properties and go to Cells. And see, I made the left column, the first column, narrow, more narrow than the one on the right just by changing it here. I don't know if you can see it because it's pretty light, but I'm, I just made it a little bit less wide than the one on the right so there's more room for the, the text. And then I numbered the table. Go back here to the selection menu. Go to table. Wait, wait, wait. I'm hitting stuff. Go down to the table. And see number table cells. And I want to start with one. Increments of one. And then I want to skip the the all the ones on the right column and I know that there's 29 columns so I said skip the last 29 so when you number it see um, now you can adjust your font size once you've done that go ahead and select the font and then go to text properties and just reduce the size so that it fits. Well, let me go here. Make that smaller and then do apply. And make those fit inside your, your table. Okay. And, and there you have it. Just pile this on top. And now you've got it numbered. Now you can do a search. Go to the magnifying glass. I know that's not perfect. I'm not going to take the time to fix all that. And just search on um, nail. I must not have spelled it right. N E. See, I didn't. I didn't spell it right. There, it found it right there. And there it is. Okay, so when I have, I don't know, probably 30 or 40 pages, I'm going to make each stack on a different page. It'll be able to search the whole document and find the thing for me. All right? 
that's it. That's all I had to do. <laughs> so y'all know what I'm going to be doing the rest of my day. Okay? All right. Y'all have a great day here. Bye.